Hello folks, my name is Jen, I'm from Golden State Times, and today we have your week in review for the first week of December 2017. These are some of the headlines you might have missed for the first week of December 2017. We're starting off with top Al-Qaeda leader, Reported killed in Afghanistan in U.S. Afghan operation. This comes courtesy of the Post. And it says that on Tuesday, the U.S. military command in Afghanistan confirmed that a joint U.S.-Afghan operation killed Omar bin Khattab, the most senior leader killed in the country since the Taliban was driven from power in late 2001. Multiple other Al-Qaeda operatives were killed in this operation as well. General John Nicholson Jr., the U.S. commander in Afghanistan, also confirmed that Mullah Saha Wali, leader of the Taliban's Red Unit, died along with his deputy commanders. The Taliban Red Unit was responsible for planning numerous suicide bombings and improvised explosive attacks in the area. We're going to move on to our next one, and we got Mrs. Dhaka, according to Breibart News. It says, Senate confirmed Christian Nielsen, top White House aide, to lead Homeland Security. This one comes courtesy of the Post. And it says that this week, the Senate confirmed attorney and cybersecurity expert Christian Nielsen as America's new Secretary of Homeland Security. It says that Nielsen will be the country's first DHS secretary who has previous experience working at the agency. Again, Breitbart News calls her Mrs. Daca because she's very liberal when it comes to immigration, which is a very bad thing. But we'll have to see what happens now that she is secretary of DHS. We're going to be moving on to the next one. And we got the border wall prototypes, folks. Customs begins testing of the border wall prototypes, according to The Hill. U.S. Customs and Border Patrol began physical testing of the prototypes for the U.S.-Mexico border wall this week. They said, quote, physical testing of the samples includes efforts to scale or breach the walls using tools such as jackhammers and saws. So that's what's going on right now with the prototypes, folks. So before we continue to our next uh, next story, we would like to thank our sponsors. We don't have sponsored companies that sponsor us on a massive scale like you would see on other channels or on TV. Our sponsors is you, the viewer, the American people, the patriots that want to uh, help us continue operation and help us not censor ourselves so that way we can focus on the news instead of getting demonetized by YouTube on a daily basis. So thank you so much to all the people that are coming up on the ticker on your screen. You guys help continue operation here at Golden State Times. Help us uh, not be censored and help us not censor ourselves. Because of YouTube demonetization on a daily basis, we cannot cover news stories regarding Al-Qaeda and ISIS and, uh, and Roy Moore and others that we want to cover like North Korea, all that stuff. We can't cover it because YouTube demonetizes us and stops uh, paying us through ads. And we can't continue operation if we don't get paid in order for the lights to stay on. So today we are covering ISIS. We are covering uh, Al-Qaeda and stuff like that because of the sponsors. So thank you very much to all of you guys. If you would like to become a sponsor you can go to our website at goldenstatetimes.com. Again, that's goldenstatetimes.com. If you would like to see how it's done, stay to the end of the video and I'll show you guys. So again, thank you so much to our sponsors for being awesome and keeping us uncensored. All right, let's move on. And we were talking about the border wall, but now we are moving on to the next one, which is ISIS. And it says the U.S. files a suit to seize antiquities looted by Islamic State militants, or ISIS. This one comes courtesy of the journal, and it says U.S. officials have identified several ancient objects allegedly looted by ISIS, stemming from concerns that these items provide the terrorist group 
with financial lifelines. And they said, quote, These court actions are the latest step in a continuing effort to disrupt the ability of ISIS and other, uh, and other terrorist groups to finance their operations. So that's what's going on with ISIS. Um, a lot of people are saying that since the rest of their lifelines have been cut like oil and exports and stuff like that. Now they're focusing on selling antiquities through the black market in order to get money to continue their despicable uh, killings all over the place. So we're going to be moving on to the next one. And we have jobs, 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 folks. A survey says that U.S. businesses added a solid 190,000 jobs in November alone, folks. This one comes courtesy of the Associated Press, and it says American businesses added nearly 200,000 jobs last month, with manufacturing helping to drive the growth with an increase of 40,000 jobs, the largest gain this year alone. And they said, quote, the job market is red hot, according to Moody's Analytics chief economist, Mark Zandi. So, Jobs, 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 folks. Just like President Trump said last night at his rally in Pensacola, Florida. If you guys missed it, the link's in the description below. Go and check it out. He was talking about jobs, security, the border, all of the good stuff. So make sure you go and check it out. So now we're moving on to Vice President Mike Pence. And Mike Pence said, quote, Trump is a believer, according to the Washington Examiner. It says that in an interview with the Christian Broadcasting Network, Vice President Mike Pence spoke about a religion and also public service. And he said, quote, let me be clear. President Trump is a believer and so am I. That's what the vice president said. And he went on to say, quote, and we understand the role of faith in the life of this nation. We're saying we're going to be saying Merry Christmas again, folks. I don't know if you guys have seen it out in the streets or out in the in the stores. Merry Christmas is rolling back, folks. They're starting to say Merry Christmas again. They're not censoring it. The, as of right now that I've seen is only one or maybe two places that say like holiday greetings or or happy holidays. The rest of the places say Merry Christmas, which is a very good thing. That's what we wanted. That's the reason why President Trump was elected. Well, one of the reasons why President Trump was elected. So we're moving on to our last story. And this one is regarding Jerusalem as Israel's capital. And it says, why President Trump is right to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital. This one comes courtesy of the Washington Free Beacon. And it says that Matthew Carneretti, editor-in-chief of the Washington Free Beacon, writes that President Trump uh, President Trump's recognition of Jerusalem as Israel's capital and his decision to move the U.S. embassy is, quote, a common sense appraisal of the world. It says that, but it also, quote, one of the boldest moves any U.S. president has made since the beginning of the Oslo peace process in 1993. So that was your week in review. For the first week of uh, December of 2017. If you guys like this review, please give it a thumbs up and share it on social media. Also, if you guys would like to become a sponsor of the channel, I'm going to show you guys real quick how you can do that on our website at goldenstatetimes.com. So let me show you guys real quick how you can become a sponsor of the channel. And we're going to go back here and do this and then do, give me one second here. Here we go. So to become a sponsor of Golden State Times, you go to goldenstatetimes.com. The link is in the description below. And then you go over here where it says, please contribute below to keep us on the air. As you guys can see right here. And all you have to do is just click on the, on the drop down menu and it'll give you the options to contribute a dollar monthly, $5 monthly or $9.99 a month. Okay. And all you have to do is just subscribe to it and that's it. And then you'll become one of our sponsors and one of the people that helps us stay 
on the air and uncensored by YouTube and Google. Also, make sure to go and check out our website, goldenstatetimes.com. We, as you guys can see, we cover a lot of news stories on there. So make sure you go and check it out. And also make sure to sign up to our newsletter called the Golden State Times Daily Briefing. You click on the top and then it'll give you the option to sign up to our, our, uh, our, our daily briefing, which is a newsletter. And uh, yeah, so make sure you guys go and sign up to that too. Thank you very much for watching. Like I said, you guys are awesome. Our sponsors are awesome. If you are new to the community, click the subscribe button below the video or on our screen is going to come up with our logo and make sure that you guys are subscribed. Also, make sure you check out our previous videos, including President Trump's rally last night in Pensacola, Florida. It was awesome. It was energetic. It was hilarious. He cracked a lot of jokes. So it was, it was a really, really good time. So make sure you go and check it out if you missed it. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Jen. I'm from Golden State Times, and I'll see you soon. Peace. Hello, folks. My name is Jen. I'm from Golden State Times, and today we have your weekend review for the first week of December 2017. These are some of the headlines you might have missed for the first week of December 2017. We're starting off with top Al-Qaeda leader reported killed in Afghanistan in U.S. Afghan operation. This comes courtesy of the Post. And it says that on Tuesday, the U.S. military command in Afghanistan confirmed that a joint U.S.-Afghan operation killed Omar bin Khattab the most senior leader killed in the country since the Taliban was driven from power in late 2001. Multiple other Al-Qaeda operatives were killed in this operation as well. Jen, if we don't get paid in order for the lights to stay on. So today we are covering ISIS. We are covering uh, Al-Qaeda and stuff like that because of the sponsors. So thank you very much. To all of you guys, if you would like to become a sponsor, you can go to our website at goldenstatetimes.com. Again, that's goldenstatetimes.com. If you would like to see how it's done, stay to the end of the video and I'll show you guys. So again, thank you so much to our sponsors for being awesome and keeping us uncensored. All right, let's move on. And we were talking about the border wall, but now we are moving on to the next one, which is... ISIS. And it says the U.S. files a suit to seize antiquities looted by Islamic State militants or ISIS. This one comes courtesy of the journal and it says U.S. officials have identified steps of scale like you would see on other channels or on TV. Our sponsors is you, the viewer, the American people, the patriots that want to uh, help us continue operation and help us not censor ourselves so that way we can focus on the news instead of getting demonetized by YouTube on a daily basis. So thank you so much to all the people that are coming up on the ticker on your screen. You guys help continue operation here at Golden State Times. Help us uh, not be censored and help us not censor ourselves. Because of YouTube demonetization on a daily basis, we cannot cover news stories regarding Al-Qaeda and ISIS and, uh, and Roy Moore and others that we want to cover like North Korea, all that stuff. We can't cover it because YouTube demonetizes us and stops uh, paying us through ads. And we can't continue operation. Again, Breitbart News calls her Mrs. DACA because she's very liberal when it comes to immigration, which is a very bad thing. But we'll have to see what happens now that she is secretary of DHS. We're going to be moving on to the next one. And we got the border wall prototypes, folks. Customs begins testing of the border wall prototypes, according to The Hill. U.S. Customs and Border Patrol began physical testing of the prototypes for the U.S.-Mexico border wall this week. They said, quote, physical testing of the samples includes efforts to scale or breach the walls using tools such as jackhammers and saws. So that's what's going on right now with the prototypes, folks. 
So before we continue to our next uh, next story, we would like to thank our sponsors. We don't have sponsor companies that sponsor us on a mass. General John Nicholson Jr., the U.S. commander in Afghanistan, also confirmed that Mullah Saha Wali, leader of the Taliban's Red Unit, died along with his deputy commanders. The Taliban Red Unit was responsible for planning numerous suicide bombings and improvised explosive attacks in the area. We're going to move on to our next one. And we got Mrs. Dhaka, according to Breibart News. It says, Senate confirmed Christian Nielsen, top White House aide, to lead Homeland Security. This one comes courtesy of The Post. And it says that this week, the Senate confirmed attorney and cybersecurity expert Christensen Nielsen as America's new Secretary of Homeland Security. It says that Nielsen will be the country's first DHS secretary who has previous experience working at the agency. 